can Banging just as loud as you can Banging on a trash can Trash can the Overtuned Origin is one of the two new Origins we will be getting our hands on with the new Stellaris Toxoids DLC. This species pack is coming on the 20th of September. In this video, we're going to do a deep dive into the mechanics of the Overtuned Origin and look at what some of the great possibilities and potential could be unlocked for our empires by taking this Origin and being able to modify our pops from a very, very early start date. So without any further ado, let's dive in. What does it actually do though? Well, in this video, I am going to be breaking it down. I'm going to look at everything you can do with it, all of the traits you can get with it, how we might be using it, how the meta might evolve. We're going to do a bit of theory crafting, as well as diving in depth on how currently I think you might be able to break it a little bit to get the best out of it. To start off with, I'm going to have to go over a lot of the things I went over in the feature highlight video. So please bear with me while I go through that for anyone that hasn't already seen it. First off, I must note that in order to be overtuned, you cannot select a machine intelligence authority. And that means you cannot use a lovely machine portrait a bit like this one. And if you're in need of any of the other Stellaris DLC or you'd actually like to buy the base game itself, it is currently on sale from now until the 12th of September on Humble Bundle. You can get up to 75% off Stellaris and up to 50% off selected other DLC. And by following the affiliate link down below in the description, you can help to support this channel. When you take Overtuned and if you go over to the traits part of your species, you'll be able to pick up a whole host of new traits that are available. These overtuned traits, as you might have already heard, usually cost one point, and generally speaking, they mirror another trait that already exists. They also all give you minus 10 years of leader lifespan. We can get 20% habitability bonus, 40% army damage, and 5% worker resource output, plus 15% food from jobs, plus 15% minerals from jobs, plus 15% energy from jobs, plus 15% amenities from jobs, minus 10% pop consumer good upkeep, plus 10% research output, plus 25% leader experience gain, and plus 10% unity from jobs. We then get three traits which mirror the genetic ascension traits that you usually have available. Elevated synapses, for instance, mirrors the erudite trait, giving plus two leader level cap and plus 20% research experience. However, this one costs two points and gives you minus 30 years of leader lifespan. Pre-planned growth also gives plus 30% pop growth speed and minus 10% pop housing usage. And excessive endurance mirrors robust, giving plus 30% habitability and plus 5% resources from jobs. And if you're enjoying this video, please genetically modify that like button. Additionally, you get the damn the consequences edict. Your overtuned traits can be freely added and removed from any species, not just your founding species, through gene tailoring. And this actually means you start the game with gene tailoring, which is why overtuned is perfect as an origin if you want to have a genetic ascension rush build. We also have the ability right at the start of the game to genetically modify our own pops. Let's make use of that as we design an empire. And of course, leader lifespan only matters if that pop is part of the citizen class of your empire, as only citizens can generate leaders. So if you find another species, it is a very good idea as an overtuned empire to enslave them, or at least only give them residence rights, and then cram them full as as many life reducing modifiers and life reducing traits as you possibly can, because that way you'll get the most efficient bang for your buck. If we combine something like rapid breeders with pre-planned growth, we're going to be getting a massive pop growth boost right at the start of the game. Here on our capital, when we combine that with Fanatic Xenophobe, we're getting a whopping plus 60% pop growth speed right out of the gate, which gives us plus seven points of pop growth per month. Absolutely crazy. However, we can push this yet further if we swap out for something like budding and combine this with being a hive mind for massive pop growth modifiers there, and don't forget, of course, hive minds get access to a pop assembly building right at the start of the game. Now it starts being a little bonkers. We are getting a combined pop growth here of almost plus 10 points per month across our growing and assembling pops. Combine this with the fact that you start with the gene tailoring technology, meaning you can already modify your initial pops and you can get the opener for genetic ascension after completing 
just your first two tradition trees and then your second ascension perk can definitely be engineered evolution giving you a whopping three extra gene modification points reducing the modified species special project cost and giving you clone vats at a super early period you could probably get this done in the first 20 years but what do you think about the new overtuned origin are you excited to get your hands on it let me know down in the comments below there is also another path we could take and that is being a lithoid species type by being a lithoid you actually get plus 50 years of leader lifespan which should go a long way to offsetting the cost of having overtuned give lots of big negative modifiers to your leader lifespan yes you do get big reductions to pop growth speed and pop assembly speed but you can immediately offset these with some easy and simple choices for points that will give you quite a lot of extra pop growth before you start getting some of the media traits like the overtuned version of erudite because we also get access to the gene modding technology right out of the gate that will from day one give us plus one trade points and that could mean a strategy where you pick additional negative traits would be very useful why would we want to do this well any of the regular blue traits you pick like crystallization here will be locked into your species until you complete genetic ascendancy and can remove positive traits however the overtuned traits in yellow as well as the red negative traits can be removed with gene modding right at the start of the game so you can actually by adding lots of negative traits create a species with massive genetic potential as that can be modded very very quickly once you start playing and then the first stage of your interstellar journey could be to do something like removing repugnant and putting a different trait in instead and then genetically modifying your species like this this allows you to have access to that extra trade point you don't get in the main menu when when you're creating your species another idea could be to apply these changed templates to your initial colony worlds as you can see when you only have a single pop or possibly two pops basically a very low number of pops on a colony world it is much much cheaper to apply a template to those than it would be to apply to the entire planet this then means you could apply a template like this quite early on and then promote the growth of these specific pops with better traits across all of the worlds of your empire so the overtuned origin does come with possibly quite a bit of micromanagement but that is the case with the genetic ascension in general if you like the genetic ascension and you like having all of these different specified specialist pops to work special jobs on all of your worlds then you're going to absolutely love overtuned even if you don't like that there is still something to get out of this because you can get access to some of the best late game traits right at the start of the game and build a fantastic species that way this all means that overtuned is in essence the genetic ascension origin in stellaris it will be the easiest and most guaranteed way of getting a genetic ascension as early as possible if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to know what other big changes could be coming to stellaris very very soon click the video on screen now